All right, everybody, let's do this. Um, so I'm doing this completely off the cuff. Um, sorry if that, uh, you know, this comes off a little rough, but I just had a eureka moment, finally got this to succeed, and I just want to get this out there for other people uh, immediately. And, you know, <laughs> I don't want to have to take care of this later. So I, I also want to just take care of this while everything's still fresh and I can tell you exactly what I did. So getting the front end Maven plugin in Spring Tool Suite uh, in your Spring Boot app working uh, and packaging your uh, React or Angular, basically node-based um, front end working with or packaged with your Java Spring Boot back end um, and getting those running on the same port. Uh, so I will tell you how I did that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to follow this tutorial, which I will link in the description below. I'm sure if you found this video, you've probably already gotten to this point. <laughs> And you're probably tearing your hair out. Hopefully I got to you early enough. Um, but yeah, to uh, package your React front end and your Java back end together in a Spring Boot app, uh, this is the tutorial you need to follow. Or uh, I think there are similar tutorials, but uh, this is the one that worked for me. This is the one I finally had that Eureka moment in, so I will just show you this one. So, uh, follow this tutorial until you get to uh, packaging the React app with Spring Boot. Um, I think the steps should be similar, um, if not the same. Uh, if you're doing this with an Angular app, I'm not positive. I haven't worked with Angular myself, so I'm not quite sure if this will work exactly the same. Um, but what you're gonna do is you're going to take your uh, React front end uh, root folder uh, and you're going to take that and put that in your uh, Spring Boot project uh, under the Spring Boot um, root folder. So just put it under root and uh, I renamed it to front end because that's what the tutorial also had it named as. Um, if you do the same as I do then uh, make sure to go into your package JSON and also change the name uh, this one's still named key balancer because this is uh, the original folder uh, before that change. So now the big uh, crux of the issue that I ran into this tutorial. Um, other than that, uh, which was poorly explained, uh, actually not explained at all, Creative Production built at the front end and they didn't say where to put it or where you needed it. Anything else. That's where you need it. You need your... Uh, React front end or your package under the root folder of your Spring Boot app. Now, uh, the tutorial is going to tell you to paste some stuff under build plugins in the pom.xml file uh, of your Spring Boot app. So, uh, the first one they'll tell you to plug in there is the front end Maven plugin. And the issue with that is they include an old version of it. So, let's see here, they're running 1.6. The most recent version of it is 1.11.3. So that's five versions ahead, math. <laughs> uh, so I ran into issues with the build process because this wasn't running an updated version. Um, so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the front end Maven plugin GitHub repo and check the tags list and just find the most recent version for that. Plug it in here, should work fine. Um, and the most recent version at the time of this video is 1.11.3 and who knows in the future may, you may be able to just run this version and everything would be hunky-dory. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have that same luck. <laughs> so anyways, after that, you're going to come down to the node version and update that and also the NPM version. Uh, these aren't necessarily the most up to date. Uh, I haven't checked but they're the versions I had installed on my computer. And I just checked that by going to command prompt. Uh, this is Windows 10, by the way. Um, and I just went uh, node-v, got the version for that, and then npm-version, uh, and it'll show you right there. Plug that in and um, plug that in here, ran, MVM clean install as the tutorial says to do next uh, right let's see right here 
Um, and, uh, or, sorry, right here. <laughs> they said to do it. And then after that's done, uh, under your um, front end package, it'll create a build folder. And then basically what you want to do uh, next, the next step is to get that into your target folder and uh, packaged in with your backend in a Java jar file. Uh, and to do that, they need you to uh, also paste in the Maven and run plugin. That is also in the tutorial. So after getting that build folder in here, um, if you don't see it after running MVN clean install, by the way, just right click and hit refresh and it should show up. Um, so after that shows up, you want to put in your Maven and run plugin and then just run MVN clean install again. Uh, and then the build should succeed. Uh, and then under target, you should see your uh, project name snapshot jar file. And when you run that jar file, you should see a beautiful front end and back end integrated website. And if we go here and just log in, you can see it. Uh, it not great feedback at the moment, but <laughs> it logged me in and sent me back to the uh, main root page, uh, which is running my React front end. So, hallelujah, that's working. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, if you're still running into issues with the build process, if it still didn't work for you, I also did uh, do some other things which may have also influenced uh, the build success. Uh, what I did is I installed an extracted Maven onto my PC and I updated the path M2 and M2 home environment variables. Now you do that, type in env, uh, edit the system environment variables, go to environment variables down here, and system and variables. This is where you want to change them. And uh, yeah, you'll edit those in here. And then I also installed the most recent version of the Java JDK and updated the path and Java home environment variables. Uh, and so after doing that, if it still doesn't work for you, I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, but that's what I did. That's how it got, uh, that's how I got it working. And yeah, I really, really hope this helps you and uh, also keeps you from tearing your hair out uh so yeah um it is also 6 a.m for me uh yeah i've been working on this problem for a bit so it's time to go to sleep um sorry this was so off the cuff but i really do hope this helped um yeah have a good day <laughs>